Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you know, I'm not really a fan of the Subject X Reconstructed series, so GamerXT54 sent me a collection of other maps that he thinks I will enjoy, and we are going to start out with Two Chambers Without Hammer by, period, GamerXT54 Labs. Uh, no thumbnail apparently, but it does have a button, a pedestal button, a weighted cube, a weighted cube dropper, laser fueled, fizzler, cube button, goo, glass, panel, tractor beam, laser emitter, laser catcher, reflector cube, reflector cube dropper, stairs, glass, crating, piston, platform. Yes, all those things. Since I can't publish hammer maps, I've decided to make bmod chambers within the in-game editor, comma. I've managed to make two chambers using bmod within the in-game editor. I've done my best to make the map look presentable within the object limit. Enjoy! Alright, let's see what we're in for. Oh wow, I just heard some, uh, some turrets get, uh, fallen into goo or something. Some turrets got hurt, is what I'm trying to say. What does this do? Something that I don't understand. Shit. That turns off the scissors. Oh man, that, <laughs> those ant lines. Uh, yeah, those look a bit weird. What does this do? Oh! A remote funnel insertion instrument. And a cube! Hello, cube! What, what may I do for you on this fine day? Uh... Does the conjunction of these buttons do anything? Nope, does not appear to be so. Uh, we need that button to be pressed for this... What? Why...? What's the purpose? <laughs> Why? Why such a long funnel to unlock this and then do something else that I can't see? Because it goes behind... It goes behind the decoration, and then it goes up here to... something. It looks like another cube. Probably a laser cube, if I had to guess. But why the long funnel to it? That's rather strange. In fact, why don't I just... What's wrong with me just doing this? Oh, because it doesn't give me enough time. Alright, fair enough. So, we press this. Right, okay, so that's why the- the funnel insertion device is there, which... I knew that already, but I just forgot temporarily. Yeah, so we put this on the laser insertion- sorry, funnel insertion device. And then we activate said funnel insertion device, and then stand on the button. Alright, and then all we do is wait. Yeah, so what was the purpose of that really long... Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, that gets us said laser cube. And with said laser cube, we can kill said turrets and point it at said laser catcher. There we go. And then we just want to recall the cube. So we don't need that anymore. And then we guess I guess we just walk over here and put it on the exit door button. Okay. That was a rather... simple test. <laughs> Alright, we're on to the next, though. Well, this is... I feel like I've seen this before. I might have seen Vintage play this or something at some point, but I don't remember paying very much attention, so at least there's that going for me. Oh, hello, we have an exploding turret. What? What do you even... what did I just do? Something fizzled before. What fizzled? I heard something fizzle. What fizzled? Strange. What did that do? Oh, okay. Uh. supposed to do something about that? <laughs> I mean, there's a button up here that I haven't pressed yet. That would probably help, right? Okay, that gets me a laser cube. Which I can probably put here, right? Oh, goodness. Alright, so that does that. That gets me this guy.
Hello. And then... I guess we wanna press... press this? Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, so we have all our cubes that we wanted. Alright, so let's put this one ooh, approximately there. This one ooh, approximately here. And this one mm, it's very precise. Need very, very careful aim. There we go. I did it. No issues. No issues. None at all. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the videos that look like these right here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!